What's up friends? Welcome back to another video or welcome if you're new here. My name's Alex, my pronouns are he, him, and this is my channel Pucks and Paperbacks where I give you themed reading vlogs, themed book recommendations, and I recommend queer books. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the end of the year book tag, so let's just get started. The first question is, are there any books you started this year that you need to finish? And I am going to show you the stack of physical books that I have started and not completed. One, two, three, four, five, six physical. These are all the physical books that I started and haven't finished. This could easily just be my end of the year TBR. <laughs> this isn't even counting the audiobooks and ebooks that I got from my library that I just didn't finish. There's many more. For some reason, the second half of the year, I have just been in a major reading slump and I don't know what happened. Next is, do you have an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year? And I actually posted my fall TBR, which will be linked above. It is just all the books I want to read during this season. But specifically, I would like to make When No One Is Watching by Alyssa Cole a priority. I'm currently filming this on Friday, October 29th, and I have not gotten around to this book yet. So I'm going to try and make it more of a priority this weekend if I have some time, but this is definitely the book that I want to read to transition into November. Next is, is there a new release that you're still waiting for? The answer is no, but there are some new releases I want to read before the end of the year. Recently, I've been doing seasonal TBRs, so I will have a full end of the year TBR coming in December. The new releases that I want to read are House Fires by Connor Franta, which I will be doing a full reading vlog on, and One Way Back to Always by Nina Marino. I loved when I read Don't Date Rosa Santos last year, and I am so excited to read Nina's new contemporary. There are so many new releases that I have not finished or even gotten to this year. So I'm definitely going to try and read them in December or just roll them over to 2022. The next question is, what are three books you want to read before the end of the year? And I already said the new releases, but I actually have four books here. So I have Future Feeling by Joss Lake, which I'm going to be reading in December. May the Best Man Win is a book that I need to finish that I started because I had an arc of it. And then one of my friends ended up buying this off my Amazon wish list. So thank you to Ash J and Asher Reed for sending me this. So I definitely want to get done this one. Um, and then I have two books for a video. So I am going to be reading The Charm Offensive and The Love Hypothesis, which both came out this year. So I have a pretty good TBR lined up for the end of the year. Is there a book you think could still shock you and become your favorite book of the year? I'm not sure. I think a lot of the ones that I mentioned would be. I have given out a lot of five stars this year. I am not afraid to give one. So I am reevaluating my rating system of maybe just scrapping rating and star ratings in general. So find out in 2022 if I go forward with that. Besides like if I am sent a book for review, I will review it with a star rating. But I think for now, I'm just going to be going off of my enjoyment or not because ratings have not been my favorite thing lately. So I am thinking more about that. Out of the books that I already mentioned, I do believe they could be some of my favorite books of the year. I already posted a video where I share my best books of the year so far. So you can go and watch that up here. I do think that I could have a favorite book of the year. It'll just add to my list. And the last question is, have you already started making reading plans for next year? No, I have been thinking more about what my content will look like in 2022 and a fun thing that I'm going to add to my Patreon. If you would like to hear my thoughts on any of the books that I mentioned in this video, feel free to hit subscribe and turn on my bell notification so you don't miss a video. And if you are a returning subscriber, just check below to make sure you weren't unsubscribed because YouTube does that sometimes. I am so excited for the end of the year. I have a lot of fun announcements coming 
and just fun things in general. I am going to be doing the 12 days of Vlogmas from December 13th to December 24th. So if you have any video suggestions that you would like to see, definitely drop them down below. And I already announced on my community tab that I will be bringing back my video from last year where I had an advent calendar pick my TBR, but I need your help. So there's a Google form down below where you can anonymously give me a prompt and it might show up in my advent calendar. Let me know in the comments what book you're looking forward to reading before the end of the year and maybe what book you're looking forward to reading in 2022. Thank you for watching, thank you for supporting, and I will see you in the next video very soon. Bye.